welcome to the first of uh, many Mambo Dao tutorials. And in this little tutorial, I want to give um, a quick overview of our, or maybe not so quick overview of our onboarding process. The essential process is getting folks into our Telegram, maybe from our website, maybe from communicating with them personally, getting them to see and understand in post. Currently our DAO is on the Harmony testnet, and so we ask folks to get some test tokens. And then of course our DAO is using the Aragon client, so we need to onboard folks into understanding that. As well as our D work space for task management and project management. And of course, we want to make sure that folks actually understand and get used to using Aragon D work and Telegram over time. And so this is the beginning of our membership guide, and we hope that um, folks can use it themselves, and we will also probably begin using it um, to guide folks with our one-on-ones. So we essentially have two venues of communication for members within our DAO. Public communication, and then we have internal types of communication. For our public communication, we have our website, mambodao.crypto with some very basic information that leads folks to our telegram as well as our other DAO documentation. When you get to our website, you get a choice to either click and proceed to our telegram or not. <laughs> if you choose to click on that link, you end up joining our telegram hopefully and in our telegram our pinned post will have a social media guide it'll inform people of our governance and document operations documents and folks will have a choice in telegram to either maintain a passive contributor status or an active or take on an active member role a role of self-governance within our DAO so if you choose to be a passive member, you may choose to hang out in Telegram, our LinkedIn, or our Web3 socials. And of course, the active member proceeds to our internal communication. For our internal communication tools, we use Notion by default. I have to. It's so good, so powerful. We like the database. But we're also using Skiff mainly for its email functionality with the hopes that one day it does have a relational database. We also use the Aragon client currently on the testnet, the Harmony testnet, Shard Zero, and we are using Dwork to keep track of tasks and to keep track of task points. When you first come into our internal communication, you'll get directed from Telegram to our Notion or Skiff page. There you will find the information on how to become a active member or new member prospect into the DAO, or maybe just more information on how to get involved with our socials. If you choose to proceed into the depths of our DAO, you will make your way to the Aragon client, and we will make sure that you know how to use MetaMask, install additional networks to your MetaMask, and even find some test tokens on the Harmony testnet. Aragon is what we use for voting management, as well as our reputation token management, which is the basic core structure of our DAO, a reputation-based DAO. We do provide a service, and our service does depend on our reputation so we only thought it uh, thought it was the best framework for our particular DAO. In Aragon um, prospects will have a choice to you know 
be passive members and just maintain a presence in our socials, or if they choose, they can apply to be a member of the DAO. All DAO member applicants will come in as a you know, member prospect, and they have to be voted into the DAO, so there's a potential that their membership gets rejected. They go back to the passive contributor or friend role, but if their membership application is accepted, then they come in as either a new member or as an advisor. If your membership gets accepted, you do get access to our D workspace where you can contribute in your advisory or new membership role. We will have a guide once we figure out exactly how we're using it that kind of helps people um, know how we're using it and structuring the tasks in our DAO. Again, members will have the option of either being coming in as a new member or advisor. However, folks who have been a new member will have the ability to also apply for core team membership role. If you're accepted as a new member, you get one reputation token in order to vote in our elections, in our proposals. If you are an advisor, you may get one or two reputation tokens to vote with in our Aragon client, and all core team members will have five reputations to vote with on proposals. We thank you for this very brief, in, um, yeah, brief uh, tutorial of the Mambo DAO onboarding process. Thank you and have a good day.